Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tom Burkhart from Car Reps Daily with the adorable and very, very humorous 2017 Fiat 500C. This convertible version of the Fiat 500 Compact, subcompact actually, comes in with a sticker price of 17.5 and is full of surprise and delight features. So we've got this uh, fabric roof on the top, as you can see. We can even open that part way via the key fob here. Alrighty, so there it goes. There are multiple level layers of um, uh, choices of how far open you can have the roof. So this is its uh, spoiler position, with still the the center high mounted stop lamp still um, visible at all times, of course. But it just creates a nice uh, real panoramic moonroof that uh, is fun for front and rear passengers. And then you can open it even further once you're in the car. So this is the 500 pop specification. So let's turn this around and look at the rest of the opening of the roof. So it actually goes, loses the, uh, the back glass underneath the trunk and creates a real top down effect. It's really, really fun. This car is adorable. Just so hilarious to drive. And with a lot of surprise and delights, like we said, like that being able to open the roof on a 17, $18,000 convertible with the key fob is really, really nice. And um, there's other stuff, you know, like there's nice parking sensors back here, um, full nav system as an option on this car, um, which also has the $1,000 automatic and um, the $700 Beats audio system. So the 500 pop, as we're looking at here, um, in a nice uh, Cero, nice gray, what's this color gray called? This Grigio Senray exterior paint. It's sort of a nice sort of like primer gray. Really, really cool. Great right in the sun and the shade. It's just a really cute car. Nice little houndstooth pattern for the uh, seating there, and then red headrest is kind of nice as well. So you've got an actual back seat here, and nice levels of fold down ability for uh, for that back seat as well. So you can, by holding the trunk release here, you can move the top up um, and to the point where it'll let you open the trunk. So as you can see, you can do that right from outside the car. And then uh, these seats, well, these seats I guess need to be folded down from the inside. But they do split fold, which is very, very nice. So how is the 500 on the road? Um, it's so, so funny. Um, drives really, really nicely and with a lot of Italian Elan. Let's hop in the car and uh, see how 101 horsepower really feels these days. So 500C and the Fiat 500 for 2017 are really love at first drive types of cars. They're just really, really friendly and playful and approachable in how they go down the road. Uh, really, really a nice uh, level of steering feel, uh, visibility, control, and drive position. Just really um, cheap and cheerful is the big message with this car versus uh, you know the general small car thing, which is sort of like cheap but really, really depressing. So Fiat 500C definitely avoids those uh, pitfalls from uh, that uh, affect its rivals in the fifteen to twenty thousand dollar compact segment. Most notably by this uh, this power roof here. So uh, we've got it in sport mode. That's why it's holding holding the revs a little bit. Turn that off. Uh, but with the power roof open, I mean, this really becomes a convertible for all intents and purposes uh, in terms of how much sky you have, um, how much sun is on your face, and wind in your hair. Really just a nice, nice little car. Uh, handles so easily and so nimbly, um, you really feel like you're in control and you feel safe, even though this is a very, very small machine. I think a lot of that Italian engineering and, uh, and um, just the Italian and European origins from this car make it so unlike most compacts um, in the United States that it really deserves a second look. Uh, this is the perfect um, antithesis to the, to the SUV craze. You've even, with the six-speed automatic, you've even got um, 
some auto stick controls here so you can select gears uh, with the cue ball black shift knob which is kind of nice uh, and then just go or go back over to full auto I really like the 500c best um, in sport mode because it makes the uh, the throttle so much more enthusiastic and uh, and it really firms up the steering a little bit too so the steering is quick um, and feels so very very impressive uh, for a front wheel drive machine and as we know from the 500 a barth I mean this is a fun car this car can really handle like you can you know you could do a mini autocross course um, just anywhere you might want to like even in the suburbs here down in South Carolina uh, just a really really fun car and um, a nice drive I'm really enjoying it and I think the soft top is a no-brainer because it has almost no downsides for the Fiat 500 um, and really just is all upside so as you oops, as you saw there's really very very little wind noise with the top fully down but you have other levels of um of targa opening for the panoramic roof so even at like highway speeds or even if you wanted a little sun off your face you can have it in its uh different settings and uh and as, as open or close as you'd like but of course you can close it up and have really the refinement of coupe and uh, and a nice level of finishing in here and weatherproof safety so I'm a big fan of the 500C, and once I found out that this car, as equipped, even with the Beats Audio, automatic transmission, uh, nav system, and some other stuff, is really only $20,000 out the door, I'm like, sold. I mean, this is just so much more fun than um, vehicles that it competes with, like the, the Beetle Cabriolet, or the uh, Toyota Corolla IA, which was the previous Scion IA, or like a Kia Rio type thing. I mean, this is a it actually a really fun, fun machine, and uh, deserves... A second look for any car enthusiast or anybody who likes a really fun starter car so uh, let's give it the full goose here potency is pretty impressive there's decent massive power and you can definitely drive with your foot on the floor all the time without worrying about any kind of tickets or anything like that so a big thumbs up for the Fiat 500C. Go drive this car and uh, and make it your own. There's tons of personalization options and uh, and ways that you can really customize the car um, to uh, to make yours one of a kind. All right, we'll see you guys next time. This is Tom Burkhardt from Car Rips Daily in the 2017 Fiat 500C.